Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Icon Swaps Bucha Guango card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is five foot six with medium, medium work rates. Right footed, three star skills with a five star weak foot. So you don't have any skill moves to work with. So it's mainly going to be dribbling with this card. Okay, so it's just left stick dribbling. So we want that to be as responsive as possible. So hopefully his base card stats is already very good so that you can kind of compensate really well for it. Uh, in-game player traits, the card actually does have the finesse shot trait, which makes an incredibly huge difference for how this game plays out. Uh, 90 acceleration with 90 sprint speed is good for base card stats. Don't necessarily need to improve that, but with this card, I do think that the Hawk chemistry style makes the most sense because with the Hunter, it only gives him a plus 5 shot power boost, where I think it's more beneficial to give him a plus 10, right? So with 90, 91, 84, 84 for volleys at 85 composure, we're actually looking at very good shooting stats with the five star weak foot so you know if you get into a situation where you could potentially hit a nice little finesse shot with very good shooting stats you could potentially hit them really nicely now passing the cards at 80 short passing 79 curve at 81 vision you are mostly going to be using this card as a striker however you can use him in other attacking positions i tried his uh 90 rated version as well as the the prime rated version i think the 90 rated version of the, was the prime I can't remember because I think I, I tried both of them out because on this count, we actually have the 90 rated version uh, and it was definitely a hugely relevant thing for him. I don't remember what his attacking AI is like, so I have to see what that's going to be like. Uh, dribbling on the card. That's something that we're going to work with because he is five foot six, right? So it's not as big of a deal if the dribbling stats are not in the 90s, although it's still noticeable no matter what. Um, but I feel like we can compensate more for it because of the dribbling stats being the way that it is with the heights that he has because he does also have the lean body type. So lean body type, obviously a massive deal in FIFA in regards to just general movement across the pitch, right? So with a card like this, guys, I mean, you could even give him... A, a finisher chemistry style, right? Because look at the shooting boost you actually give the card with his base card stats for pace already being pretty good. So it's definitely one of the options, although people on Footman haven't decided to go with it. So if his dribbling is a little bit questionable, we'll see what the vibes are, right? But uh, yeah, what else we got here? So we got dribbling, we got the heading accuracy at 82. Not really relevant because heading is, you know, whatever. Uh, he has 80 stamina. It's a card that I mostly have in the striker position, maybe as a left mid, right mid, because... It is a card that I do see being used in any of the attacking positions except for the cam spot. Although you can use him there. It's just because he like obviously feels mostly like a striker slash maybe winger. So um, yeah, we'll see how he plays in game. We're going to be using the 3-5-2 as we normally do. I think this uh, team is actually perfect for it because we'll put El Shar over here. We'll put this over here. Switch this off with Butragueño. And then we'll have Butcher going with Cristiano Ronaldo up top. We'll actually switch him to the left side because he has that five-star weak foot, which is very nice to have. Uh, we'll switch Ashley Cole in the middle here for the review as well. And uh, yeah, uh, the instruction for this is just stay forward for these guys just so we can test out their attacking AI. So um, let's get into a game and see how he plays. Huh, pretty decent team to try him out against, to be honest. Decent stuff, decent stuff. This will actually be perfect for the Ashley Cole review. All right, so let's get this ball to Mr. Butcher over here and see what his dribbling is like. Uh, you can work with that dribbling. You can. I, I may improve it more. Yeah, we'll see what the vibes are. Yeah, he has this like thing about his dribbling where I would want to give him a dribbling boost for sure, man. I, that's just me, right? Yeah, he has like this like sway thing that I'd want to fix as much as possible. Oh, that initial touch was terrible, man. If we had a good initial touch right there with the finesse shot, it would have been great. See that like sway that he has right there? It's a little questionable. There you go, the finesse shot trade, man. Get him on a five-star weak foot right there. Edge of the 18-yard box. That's how you're going to be able to score with a, with a card like this. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I don't really care 
about boosting his pace as much as possible, I don't think it's going to be a relevant thing for a card like this because if he has that five-star weak foot and that finesse shot trait, improving his shooting as much as possible while also improving the dribbling to work with his five-foot-six height, I think is definitely going to feel more ideal. Yeah, he does this like emphasis thing that like really slows down the attacking play. And you obviously don't want that with your attackers, right? Nice goal right there at Kulisevsky. At least he does a nice little disguise run right there in the middle to uh, open up the space for us there. That was nice. Oh, we just skied that Butcher Guango. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was actually like completely my fault. I just wanted to make sure that he kind of like went in there. Oh, the rats of this community leaving at 2 2 on a penalty. Nice. The cheese, man. I could smell it, bro. Okay, guys, regardless, we're going to be giving him a finisher chemistry style for this next game. You could see, like, you know, with a card like this, the five star weak foot, the strong foot, being able to utilize that finesse shot trait as much as possible is definitely going to be very ideal. So we're going to be giving him 99 finishing with 94 shot power, 85 composure. Uh, and we're also going to be boosting some main areas of his dribbling in regards to agility, balance, and dribbling. So, yeah, we'll see what the vibes are. We'll see what the vibes are. Let's get into a game and uh, see what's up. Squad 2. Oh, you got to get that Renato Sanchez, my guy. What are you doing? I like the team, though, man. You know, the Portuguese little links in there, you know? Oh, way better. Please. Let's not even make the comparison. Yeah, over there, uh, he's kind of coming off of the uh, the fake shot with emphasis, so the finesse shot's not going to come off nicely. But uh, I'll tell you this right now, man. The difference right away, pretty crazy. Can I get that pass there? Nope. That's the one. Got to get those angles, man. It's strange, though, man, because... You have to compensate for dribbling, but with this card, it still feels like the Hawk makes the most sense because of all the shooting boosts you give him, you know? It's a weird one. Oh, even on his 5-star over there in that angle is nice. His dribbling is much better, though, guys. Uh, with this chemistry style, it is. 100%. Ah, uh, emphasize on those. Yeah, so with a card like this, guys, it's it's just left stick dribbling. Like, you don't want to really do any skill moves with him. He's not really going to feel the most agile with them. Yeah, that's the ones right there. Once you find that hot spot, guys, it's a GG, man, I'm telling you. All right, guys, let's play some regular FIFA. I might put some instructions on him because his attacking AI is uh, set up in a way where he, he only hits finesse shots. But I would like him to make some space in behind as well, consistently, so we'll see what's up. Oh, no shot, Team of the Year Ronaldo doesn't hit that across the goal there. What? One hundred percent should get rewarded for those, but around their eighteen yard box, it just you know how it is, boys. Well done, Butcher Guango. Moves into the empty space really well right there. I think it's because El Shirawe in the cam position is actually aggressive and he moves into certain positions. So Butcher Guango kind of like occupies his position right there. Nice. All right, guys. So final verdict on this Butcher Guango card. So let's talk about a few things that I noticed in game with this card. So from his base card stats from dribbling, guys, I felt like I needed to give him a dribbling boost, especially because of how this gameplay kind of plays out, right? So whether you give him a Hunter or whether you give him a Hawk chemistry style, I personally feel like you will always notice a dribbling feeling off in certain moments, especially when he's under pressure, attacking the opposition in defensive areas, right? Um, it was, however, very nice to have the long shots on the car for Emilio Butchigueno because he has the five-star weak foot and his strong foot with really good shooting stats so it's one of those situations with this card that no matter what chemistry style you give him he's always going to feel like he's missing something right now with his media medium work rates 
this is a very consistent thing for the most part, right? When it comes to these types of cards, like you'll only have like the rare occasion, like Jack Grealish with medium, medium with aggressive attacking AI. But uh, Emilio Buchiguino has decent attacking AI. So it's not good or great, but you can definitely work with it because what he kind of does around the pitch is he tries to aim for those finesse shots, right? He kind of lingers around that 18 yard box. And because he actually does have the trait it's very helpful to have in the striker position. Uh, it is the type of card where I feel like it would be best to either give him a target man so that he can kind of take that touch, one more touch, and then finesse shot, or you give him the get in behind to be able to utilize his height, his body type, as well as his uh, dribbling with the finisher chemistry style and decent pace as much as possible. Now, with a card like this, you can't really do that many skill moves with because he is a three-star skiller. So it is a card that you will mostly be using left stick dribbling for, which isn't fully ideal in the gameplay meta nowadays. So is he worth getting as an icon swap in this game? Absolutely not because he's 15 icon swaps, okay? 15 icon swaps for this card. There's no shot that this card is some sort of like overpowered beast that you need to get because he's 15. It, it just doesn't make any sense, right? It just it, gen it generally doesn't, right? He's just not one of the choices that I would go with. I haven't even seen one person actually tell me, hey, Inception, you should definitely uh, consider getting that Buchigueno card. Like, I haven't seen one person. It's only been, uh, you know, some people with sentimental value have seen on Baggio and stuff, but Buchigueno haven't seen a single soul talk about him, okay? So... I don't think he's worth getting as an icon swap, guys. It's, he's definitely not one of the choices for sure. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for next one. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.